Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Fong, and I have a little friend today. We are going to read a book about the library. And you know how when you go to the library, sometimes the librarian has story time and they dress up sometimes. So I got my little hat on. My little friend, I'm going to call her Penelope. She has her little hat on. And uh, we're going to read you this little book. I hope you enjoy. Okay, she's going to kind of help me with the pages. Okay. Lola at the library. Hope you like my hat. Lola loves Tuesdays. On Tuesday, Lola and her mommy go to the library. The library opens at nine o'clock, but Lola is ready to go long before that. She puts all her books she borrowed last week in her backpack. Her library card is also very important. The library is not very far, so Lola and her mommy walk there. Lola and her mommy give back the books from last week. Very important. The librarian buzzes them through the machine. There's a special section in the library just for children. It is really cool. Nobody ever says shh. Sometimes there is singing. Lola knows all the words and the hands for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Sometimes there is a storyteller. Lola loves the storyteller. Right, Penelope? Do you like the storyteller too? Hmm? Hmm. After story time, Lola chooses her book. In the library, she can have any book she wants. Hmm. Lola looks likes stories with bears. Oh, Penelope kind of got scared of the bears there. And anything with shoes. Oh, you like shoes then, huh? There are so many. It takes ages to choose the right books. Mommy has some books too. The librarian buzzes them through the machine, then stamps the date inside. Lola must bring them back in two weeks, but she'll probably be back before, long before then. What's cool about the libraries now, Penelope, is that you can scan your own books. You don't need the, li the librarian to help you, although they are there to help, but it's cool to scan your own books through the machine. And then it prints out a receipt and then you put the receipt in your book to remind you of the date to bring it back. Did you know that? Well, now you do. <laughs> Lola and her mommy always get a snack after visiting the library. Mommy has a cappuccino and Lola has a juice. Mmm. Are you getting a little hungry? Penelope said yes. So was Mrs. Fong. Cappuccino, juice, that sounds so yummy. Whenever Lola has been good, her mommy lets her taste the foam off of the cappuccino. So yummy. See the foam right there? Right there. Mm. Okay. Then it's time to go home again. Every night after Lola is tucked in bed, her mommy reads her a story. It is the best way to end the day. Hmm. Yes, it is. Look, she has her little bear right there in her hand. Bears aren't that scary if they're in storybooks, okay? So, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the book. If you don't have a lot of books at home, um, here are a couple of ideas you can, you can do to keep reading at home. 
have an adult set on the TV, the closed captioning, and then all the books, all the words will appear at the bottom of the screen of what the characters are saying on the screen. And you can read the, those captions. That'll help you to keep on reading. And if you have the internet, there are tons of free books online. I know Ms. Vio just made our Royal Palm Beach Elementary School media um, internet page. Ms. Gogler put it out on Facebook and she has tons of great resources for you to be able to check out um, books around the community and your teachers also on their Google Classrooms. So I hope you enjoyed our book. Keep reading. See you next time. Bye. Boop.